Hello and welcome to Health Talk. I'm Dr. Manny. You may not have heard of the South Asian herb called kazum, but if you're a fan of Thai food like I am, chances are you already had it. The herb, which some call smart weed, is said to be very healthy, particularly for boosting your brain power. Here to discuss is the medicine hunter, Chris Killam. Welcome, sir. Dr. Manny, it's All right, good to I, be with I, you. I, I love Thai food, Yeah. so according to my own intro, I probably already have tasted kasum. The odds are excellent you have. Uh, kasum is a common herb. It's actually the leaf that's used, so like basil or oregano. Right. Uh, it actually has a flavor that's sort of a little bit between the two with additional um, aroma that you would recognize immediately. So in Thai food is usually, is usually mostly for as, as, a, as a, you know, it, it's, a it's spice. either used as a seasoning in, in something like curries right. or it's called an ulam, so a, a salad. So uh, in some of the Thai salads like uh, the mango salad and another salad, you would have cut up kasum in there, just the way you would have basil in a caprese salad. All right, so let's talk, because everybody, you know, you are the expert in the world. Let's talk <laughs> about the medicinal properties of this herb. Okay, very, very powerfully antioxidant, right. which we see with a lot of plants. Right. Profoundly anti-inflammatory. We know that inflammation is at the foundation of most degenerative disorders. Mm -hmm. um, it shows benefits for immune function. It has a long tradition uh, as being good for the brain. And recently, there was a human clinical study, uh, 35 women, uh, about middle age, uh, who uh, half the group took Kasum, half the group didn't. The group that took Kasum saw uh, improvements in various aspects of mental function, mental clarity, recall, um, you know, over, overall uh, memory. And this is something that, uh, you know, we're in a time when we have these traditional botanicals that have been used for certain purposes for a long time. And now scientists are investigating those purposes and saying, hey, yeah, you know, we checked this out. It turns out this, the reputation here really is the case. Uh, you know, I was just in Malaysia a couple of weeks ago, so I saw Kasum growing. Um, I was with some chefs who use it in, in recipes. Right. It's also now being uh, extracted and concentrated into a form that can be put into supplements. So if people aren't eating Thai or Vietnamese food all the time, they can also enjoy the advantages of Kasum. You travel all over the world. Yep. I mean, you, you, every week you're in some part of the planet. A lot of these herbs sometimes that you bring to the table uh, were herbs that were very indigenous and, and uh, use traditionally in, in villages right. and in small communities. Right. Now it seems that uh, because of scientific discoveries and, and more analysis, it's sort of being mainstream a little bit yeah. in many parts of the world. Is that what you're saying? Well, you've actually got Kasum growers in the United States right. who are supplying the Asian market. So you're not having to bring it over from Thailand or right. Vietnam. You're seeing, yeah, I think any time we discover something that we like, right. because it tastes good, it smells good, it makes us feel good, whatever the case may be, it beautifies us, right. it does get popularized. Yeah, right. But popularized in a, in a sense that I think ultimately, and we may see these in studies moving forward, it may improve the overall health of many populations are consuming it, and I think that's the beauty of identifying these products. It is, and, and what has been kitchen medicine, right. so Hippocrates, let your food be your medicine, is also transitioning thanks to pharmaceutical technology right. into forms that if you're not eating Southeast Asian food, you can also enjoy a supplement. I mean, frankly, I love eating Kasum fresh because right. it's great. Right. But if you want the cognitive benefits, you're going to see you Kasum do. supplements too. All right. Where can people read and study this more? People can find out more on medicinehunter.com, my website, and uh, also, you know, read the accompanying article that will be with this very video. All right. Well, thank you. So thank much you. <laughs> was that a good promo? That was a good promo. That was, was a good, that that was a beautiful. good throw. <laughs> and if you have any, any health question, sweep me here at Dr. Manny on Fox. Until next time, I'm Dr. Manny.